All right, hey guys, how's it going today? We've got a CB1000R here, a 2011. bike so I've only had it for maybe like a week or two or so but I do really like it we'll start in the front like we normally do here let me get let me lose my uh let me lose the helmet here this is an x light x903 I'll put up my gloves so I don't get it all dirty here on the ground all right so we'll start go front to back like we normally do and we'll talk about this bike then I'll be doing a ride review and such uh, but I haven't had it real long so I want to ride it a little more before we do that all right so we've got, we'll start down here, Tokiko brakes, if I'm saying that correctly, dual front disc right here, as you can see, adjustable right, adjustable front forks, you get the adjustment down there, and then up here you've got preload, let's see here, preload compression, I'm not sure which one's rebound here, if it's down there or up there, I'll have to do a little, I'll have to look that up. Just got some RNG frame sliders, Looks like I need to straighten this one out a little more, just a little bit. These are hard to get on because um, when you start tightening them, the whole thing starts turning. So you have to like set it in the right spot over here and then turn it just exactly where you want it. <laughs> but then sometimes the torque isn't right. Anyway, 1000 cc motor right there, 998. And this is the from the 07 Fireblade years, I believe. And uh. It's got about, what, about 109, 110 horse or so claimed. And it is incredibly smooth, but we'll talk about that more in the ride review. Just did the oil change the other day. You can't see the oil in sight glass because it's not, you know, sitting straight up and down. All right, stock exhaust on this. And we'll hear that in just a second. Get that fired up. Single-sided swing arm, which is awesome. I just adjusted the chain on this right over here and it's real easy to do you just uh, loosen up that bolt right there and then right in here you take your spanner wrench that like c-shaped wrench type thing goes in there I forget the size of it exactly but it, and then you just move it super easy to move easiest chain adjustment of my life which is nice all right got little badging right there passenger seat um, a little oddity here for you guys Maybe I should make this into a short, but this is where <laughs> this is where you take the rear seat off. I don't know if you can see that in there, but that was really hard to find because <laughs> I was trying to look under here and everything, you know, for the for the rear, for the rear passenger seat release, like under there. And nope, it is up here by the left blinker. Goofy, right? All right. So yeah, here's the other frame slider over here, just installed. And the shift the shifting on this is incredibly smooth, like. That means no, there's no uh, quick shifter because it's 2011, but man, oh man, it is like unbelievably smooth. It's just, uh, yeah, that, we'll talk about that more in the ride video. That'll probably come out maybe next week after this one, possibly. But yeah, so you roll off, there is no clutch required at all. I mean, there isn't a lot of bikes, but this one just slips right into gear. Awesome. And let's see here. Let's get it uh, fired up. Take a listen to it. You can watch the, the dash here. This has that LED dash from the 2011 version here. And let me make sure we are in neutral because that would be very difficult to start the bike that way or impossible. All right. There we go. She's got 8,600 miles on it. I bought it with like 84, 83, so I put a couple hundred miles on it since I've had it. Here's what it sounds like from up on uh, top of the bike. Sounds like we've got a little rattle right here. If you guys might hear that, that's the plastic right here. You need to put a little, uh, put something in there, like a little piece of felt or something to stop that. So you know, this side doesn't, this side's tighter over here. Anyway, some of you guys might have that experience with your CB1000R as well. Let's put the... So 
So that is what the stock exhaust sounds like, in case you're wondering. I'm gonna move the bike up a little bit here, because I don't like what it's doing on the gravel. So in case you're wondering, in case anybody was wondering, that is what the stock exhaust on a CB1000R sounds like. It's not, uh, I saw another video where the guy had like the pipe open too, to see it taking the pipe off because he was doing maintenance. And it wasn't very loud with, the, with no can at all. So this bike just isn't that loud as far as I can tell, as far as I've heard anyway. It still sounds good. You can hear the intake a bit when you're riding here, but it's not like a loud, it's not a loud motorcycle. I kind of like that. I don't know. I've had a lot of loud bikes or a few of them and this one's much more uh, tame. But it's a good looking motorcycle, isn't it? I do like the design on it. The new CB1000R, some people were, um, I don't know, I guess there, people are divided on a little bit, but I like the new one as well. This one has no ABS, as you can tell. There's no um, ABS rear or front because it's 2011, so it's just a raw motorcycling experience. No traction control, no nothing. But I do like how the, uh, the bars are here, the reach to the bars, just about right for me. I could probably do I got a little riser I could put in here. I got a big rocks riser too, but I'm not sure how much uh, cabling will allow for that. But I, I do like how this sits, so I think I'm just gonna leave it for now. It's a little bit aggressive. You're not completely upright. Like you're uh, you're just a little bit lean forward. Just like, here I'll show you my arm here. You're just like, just a little bit. Not bad though. All right, I think that is about it. We're gonna keep this short. Short and sweet. Uh, the headlight on this works pretty well. I will say the high beam is excellent, but the low beam is not that great on this bike. In fact, I would I would recommend not even riding with just the low beam at all when it's dark, like really dark out, because the low beam does not does not cover that well. It does not. It's actually uh, kind of crappy. So what I meant by pretty good is I do like the I do I do like the high beam. It is that's that's great. But yeah. Good thing those LEDs are there, because if those weren't there, you wouldn't be seeing anything. <laughs> it's like, it's such a short throw, like it comes out from the bike, like it's, it's so, it's so short. It's, it's downright dangerous, to be honest with you. Maybe I could change this bulb out for maybe a brighter bulb or something. I can try that, but it might just be the way it's designed. I don't know, it's hard to say. So, anyways, thanks for joining me on this walk around again, and there's gonna be some more content with this bike on the channel here, hopefully, because I really enjoy riding this bike. This is probably my favorite bike. Hmm, well, we'll do some comparison, but is this uh, my favorite bike? Probably after the BMW S1000R for smoothness, and I think it has just the right power for the for the street, because this uh, 1000cc, about 100, 110 horses, kind of where I'm at with what I like for the street, for my skill level and stuff. The uh, street trip, the speed triple I've got is probably a little too much power for me for where I'm at right now. If I'm being completely honest with myself, so this is this is good. I like it. I like the weight. I like the way it turns and handles, and I like the way it looks. So, see you guys on the next one. Oh yeah, here's my gear by the way. Got a speedy, speedy uh, top, speedy, speedy pants, and Garni boots is what I'm wearing right now, and then that X Lite helmet right there with some Barrett gloves. All came from MotorStorm over in Italy because it's cheaper to get them over there than to pay the premium from over here. And the stuff's on clearance or sale. I'm in the US, by the way, for those who are watching. But for those who are over in Europe, whoop, there it is. MotorStorm's real good too. All right, we will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching again. I appreciate you guys. And like and subscribe if you liked the video. Thanks.